So we finally gave in. And I'm going to show you what we finally got here. Yes. We got the Ram McNally. This is the TND 8 tablet. Um, pretty big size. We have not gotten a chance to use it, of course, because we're still located at our home in our home state. Um, we should be getting the first load around 10 a.m. But we want to take y'all with us so y'all can just see the process of us using it and uh, we'll see if we like it or not. But the setup was pretty easy. You pull it right out the box. It does help if you have some Wi-Fi though. I just used the Wi-Fi, the hotspot on my cell phone um, just to register the GPS. And um, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to use it and see what I like and what I don't like and we'll go off of that. Okay, so I want to show y'all changes that we've made um, since we've cleaned out the truck. Uh, especially to make it just easier not only to enjoy ourselves in the truck more but to have Nikki on the truck with us we lifted the top bunk now I know you probably like what does that have to do with Nikki but just having the illusion of bigger space um, it, it just looks way better the phone it really doesn't do it any justice uh, we also changed out our foot mat um, rather than having that carpet it's more of what is that baby is it leather or it's almost like a, a vinyl. It's like a vinyl, something like that. Um, also, as far as Nikki's little bed, we just got her a little mat. She just likes to have something that's not the hard floor to lay on. And it, the material, I, I really don't know the material of this stuff, but it's easy to clean and um, it's comfortable for her. She's had a really good night's sleep. You had a good night's sleep, mama? Had a good night's sleep. Uh, we also, oh, we also decided that this go round, that we were letting her hop up on the chair and look at the window, but we just decided that if she wants to look out the window or just see what's going on out there, she can just walk in front of the seat and stand up and look out like she was doing the, the other time. She was kind of scared hopping up on that chair anyways, and plus we don't have to worry about doing the extra uh, cleaning. And of course, we still have the vacuum cleaner that we had last time because I'm telling you now that it helps a lot if you have a vacuum cleaner when it starts getting dusty in here, when your hair starts gets all over the place. And then also another thing that I'm excited about is um, that we've gotten better with, um, with pre-planning and just being able to just maneuver in the truck, period. So we're going to try to plan out more baths. Um, for her while we're on the road because it really helps when she's clean and she's not spunky and all that good stuff and she can go about a week or two without having like a bad smell but after about two weeks oh no it gets we get irritated with each other we get irritated with her and um that's when you have to get her a bath so we're gonna see how it play out we're gonna take y'all along with us and we're gonna see how it play out Alright y'all, so we got our first load. We headed out to Noonan, Georgia. Um, this guy, I guess he couldn't make his load. He don't have enough time on his clock, so we're gonna repower it. And um, we're gonna take it to Robert, Louisiana. I never heard of Louisiana. I mean, I never heard of Robert, Louisiana. Gotta go ahead and park um, my pickup truck into its right spot, which is where we have a uh, Smurfette parked at right now.
Got it so far on my side, you good. Hold up, slow down, go ahead, ease. Go, I'm trying to get as close to this truck as I can. Go ahead, you got it, baby. Now I'm saying, boy, this shit tight as hell. Even Nikki had to get up, this shit so damn tight. I'm sorry, y'all, I didn't really get to show y'all like what the turn looked like, but it was tight as hell. I had to watch it to make sure, you know, we cut it. But I just want to let y'all know, we now, of course, have the Ram McNally and the Qualcomm. Both of them were trying to send us down some suspicious streets. You have to use your own, your own eyeballs. I don't care if you got the Ram McNally, the Garmin, the best GPS in the world. You have to use your own eyes to make sure that it don't look suspicious before you turn down there. Because if you turn down there and get caught up, oh, it could be just so much worse. So, yeah, so make sure you use your own eyes. Do not 100% trust these GPS. I just wanted to say that because... And then also another thing that Carla had to do is when we were driving, the streets were so tight. It was a two-lane street. Of course, you get in... If you needed to make a turn, you get in this lane and you turn. Carla had to straddle the line. She had to stay in the middle to stop traffic from going up on either side of her so she'll have that space to make that tight turn so she you know wouldn't end up in a, a horrible situation so and it again it was still tight even though i took the road up it was still it tight was still it was tight so you gotta use your eyes you gotta look way ahead and don't be afraid to take up two lanes if you have to and stop traffic because that's a sense look at him you get in front of us and you stop what are you doing do you not realize what you could have did? You could have damn smacked the shit out of them, killed the whole family of four. Anyways, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, Carla, you ain't have to blow the earth down. Yes, I did. No, like, people don't realize, like, when they do that, like, yes. my heart rate is being so fast right now. Yeah. He came out of and nowhere. just stopped. Yes. Like, no signal, no nothing. Like, you can't come out on a busy road and stop Especially like no that. big ass truck. Just yeah. Imagine, like if we had a load. Right. Y'all, I'm just telling y'all, it get crazy out here and you gotta make sure you watch. Like, I mean, trucking, it seems cool and stuff on camera, but you gotta know it's some sticky situations that can be stressful as hell Man. if you don't, especially if you don't look out for yourself. So we finally made it to our location and Carla's walking in trying to find the uh, shipper and receiver office. Got Nikki checking out the the chickens. Yep, they're all getting ready to get slaughtered, man. Nikki just trying to smell these new smells, trying to see what's going on and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think she found it. And I finished off this load this morning, um, so that's why I just scanned it all in because whenever you do your loads of course you have to fill out a trip sheet and scan it to build a laden and uh, scan it into prime so I did all that uh, that's how we do it like whoever brings the load in then they're responsible for getting everything doing the paperwork and getting everything scanned in as well as completing the detention stand which I absolutely hate doing the detention stamps I mean uh, detention stamps <laughs> Thank you for opening the door, Nikki. Thank you, Gary. Is the load ready? No, it's in the door. Okay. Are we going to have to drop this trailer? Yeah. Okay. That's why I figured it was going to be a dropping hook. I wonder when it's going to be ready. Did they tell you? I don't know, but I know he ain't in there answering that phone because he's the only one in there working. Alright, so just to give y'all an update, um, they have finally got us loaded. We have been here for, I think, like three to four hours, so we just went back there, cooked us something to eat, and laid down, of course. And uh, now she's getting the paperwork so we can get ready to head on out to Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> 